Bonjour everybody. We've got a French machine here today with a, a big problem. The end of this ram has snapped off. This ram, it lifts the front of the machine up, uh, sets the depth of the machine and then snapped off in there. So I think we're going to make a new one to fix this. Right, so we've uh, took that ram off the machine. We've took it back to the workshop, we've stripped it down, we've got the broken piece out. We've ordered a new piece of steel here, we've got a piece of 50mm EN24T. And we're just drilling a centre in the end, so that we can pull that shaft further out of the chuck of the lathe, and we can uh, shove a centre in it, and then support it when we thread the end. Right, chuck's out now, and now we're going to put the centre in the lathe. We've got a number 5 Morse taper here on the lathe. Uh, just for anyone who doesn't know that, the number 5 Morse taper means the size of the taper uh, that goes into the tailstock, which holds drills and centres. So we wind it in now into that little hole that we've just drilled. We add a little bit of pressure, and then now that centre is on bearings, and that'll turn nice and freely. Set the lathe here going. I think we're at 250 RPMs, and we're just going to... Uh, fetch this diameter down to the right size so that we can thread it and then this piece will thread into the uh, that big red nut that we saw at the start here it is now just shaving it all off really really nice clean uh, clean finish here really pleased to see that if you like these videos don't forget to uh, like and subscribe it really helps right we're at final size now absolutely bang on we're not a thou bullet we're right bang on the money but my light weren't quite good enough to see it. We've got the lathe set here to do a 2.5mm thread. We've just highlighted the bit in, we've just put a bit of red marker pen at the start here so that you can see where it's cutting because sometimes it's a bit bad seeing it. This is the first cut here, we call this a scratch pass. And basically we're just scratching the surface of the material just to make sure that the gears that we've got the lathe in uh, match up with what they say they're doing to what they actually are doing. So we'll, we'll do a first pass here and then we'll get the thread, thread pitch gauges out and then we'll just check that we are cutting the right diameter thread that, uh, that the lathe says that we're cutting at the minute. Again, we're, we've set it to a 2.5 millimeter thread and we'll just check it and see what we're doing now. Set it at 2.5. And it's bang on that. The uh, the lathe's doing what it says on the tin, so we can uh, now take a lot deeper cut, plenty of cutting oil. We're using a 2.5 millimeter carbide insert in the thread turning tool holder, so you can take quite a deep cut with this, and it makes a really good finish. And if you chip the end or the end becomes damaged, um, you just rotate the tool and you get three goes so it saves a lot of time and it works out cheaper than grinding pieces of hard high speed steel we've got the shaft supported in the chuck at one end of the lathe and we've got it supported in the tailstock at the other so that's not going anywhere unfortunately with this job we can't relieve it we can't run the tool out into like a bit of a groove or anything because we'll weaken the part that we're trying to make so what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to stop the lathe at the exact same place every single time uh, to be able to get the threads all the way to the end without weakening the shaft that we're making so it's a bit it's not ideal but it's just what we've got to do with this job the uh, the customer who's it is the very good customer of ours um, but when the phone rings, normally it's the sort of job where you, you, you're going to earn your tea that night. Like, you'll definitely work that day uh, doing jobs for these men, but they are very handy themselves. We're just taking the final pass, uh, we call this a spring pass, which is... We've, we've had a little bit of cut on each time, but then this last pass, we're nearly at the right diameter for it to screw onto, but we don't want to make it a too slack of a fit. So we're just letting the lathe go across on its own without adding any feed. And the metal it's removing this time is just a spring in the uh, in the steel and in the tool holder. So it's still cutting some material out, even though we haven't shoved the cutter into the piece of bar anymore. 
but they're looking some really really good threads them really pleased with that they're not too thin they've got a nice profile to them yeah, just looking at it now now that it's stopped turning really really pleased with them threads they look really really smart especially in some tough steel like that right we better just uh we just try it make sure it make sure it's a good nice fit before we uh start drilling a hole and carrying on with this job Nice bit of WD-40 there, oh, lubricate it, always turn it on. If you take too much threads, if you take too much material off it, it's really easy to do that, and then you end up with slack threads. And if the slack threads, you can pull out that nut, and then you're, uh, you're in trouble, and if that gives way again. But we've made them a nice tight fit then. There's no play in that nut at all now, so they're really good threads. Right, we've uh, we've chopped that shaft in the bandsaw now. We've put in the lathe, we've centre drilled it, and we drilled it with nine mil. And now we're just opening it out of an eighteen mil drill bit. Uh, it's drilling really, really easy to be fair. That so the drill's nice and sharp. Now we've drilled it out again, and we just now I've got the boring bow with another carbide insert in it, and we're just boring the centre of that of them threads that we've machined in the lathe machine that out now and now we've got internal thread to cut this is a four mil pitch so it's quite a it's quite a coarse thread this and we're traveling into a blind hole which means that there's no the hole has got to stop to the end to the back of it so the hole doesn't go all the way right through which stops halfway so again we're going to have to stop with the lathe in the exact same place every single time. You can see it there, you can see the bottom of the hole there. But it's it's quite a tricky, tricky thing to stop that in the exact same place every time. And again, we can't relieve the back of it, we can't machine any, any like a groove or anything for it to run out into because we'll weaken the part too much. But it's made an absolutely beautiful job of that. Really, really pleased. We, uh, we, we're gripping it on the outside, we're gripping it on the threads on the outside that we cut previously. But uh, we've had to put some aluminium sheets in so we don't damage the threads that we've just cut. And there's the new part. All machined, ready to, uh, ready to screw on the end of that ram. Them threads that we've just cut on the inside, that screws on to the end of that ram. Right, we've got it all machined now, we've screwed it all together, we've locked tight it all. Travelled back to the set of discs and we uh, now we're going to put that big ram back on the machine. So we've got the bale of twine out, you can never have too much bale of twine in a van. It's always, always using that, every single day we use a bit of bale of twine. Which, it's not just farmers that love it as well, it's mechanics as well. There's an endless use of, uh, endless use of bale of twine. It's like having a, a second pair of hands. Got the ram here. It's quite a big ram, that. Um, and the pin just goes in as easy as that. It couldn't be any easier. But, unfortunately, I've not greased the eye of the ram before I've uh, put the pin in. So it has to come out again. Uh, which you don't see on the video and I grease it and then I pull that pin back through and it doesn't go out quite going as easy the second time which it never does, we have to do something twice so we pull that top pin in there's a, a nut and bolt that holds that top pin in uh, dead easy, well couldn't be any easier really easy to do that but there's no grease nipples on it so uh, that's a bit of a poor idea Right, we've got that nut and bolt all nice and tight now. So now we need to get that bottom pin in. Um, but it's not quite lining up. So I have to get the uh, get a jack under the drawbar. But we'll just before I do that, give that all a nice good grease and give the eye of the ram a good grease in. Yeah, that bottom pin actually has got a grease uh, tube going to it, so you can grease that one, but you can't grease the top one, which is a bit funny. So we're just jacking the drawbar up now to lift the drawbar up so we can get that, that pin in the middle hole. Right, 
put it all nice and jacked up now with that pincher just nap just tapping nice. Just a, I think it's an 8mm roll pin that knocks through that pin and that stops the uh, stops that pin from wandering out. So it couldn't really be any easier to put that ram back on, it's only got two pins and two pipes. Just doing the uh, two hydraulic pipes up now on the ram. Now we've, we've greased the threads that we've cut on the lathe, we've screwed that big stop on, so when the ram lifts in and out, it then bottoms on that stop and you use them threads to set the uh, the stop and that controls how deep it goes into the ground. So we've greased all them threads now, we're just running it up and down them, but unfortunately you can't really see the good the work that we've done there because that, that cover covers them all up, that ram stop covers them all. I'm just checking it there and uh, checking it all moves freely and I'm well pleased with that now. So that uh, that piece there that we threaded screws in there with Loctite and then it also screws into that ramrod. And that barrel's just a, a, a depth stop. Yeah, ready to get back to work. Another job done, ticked off the list. But it's a uh, it's a first set of first set of discs. That it's a big machine. Hopefully, good to go for a bit longer now. Thanks for watching.